Hey guys, what's up? It's Intuition Angel here, getting ready to read for the sign of Leo right now, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind that these are just general readings. They will not resonate for all Leos out there. Check your birth chart if it does not resonate. Um, go ahead and hit that like button for me down there, please, and thank you if it does. You guys can also contact me for personal readings. I'll take that. Um, it's in the description box below for you guys. Um including everything else that needs to be known about this reading. Okay, so we have gratitude for you guys. I'm thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. I feel like that's you right now, Leo. What else for Leo? It's for Leo, okay. Now we have trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly, okay? With adversity here, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. So adversities are outside influence or outside obstacles getting in the way of what you want to get accomplished i always think of adversities as like when you're trying to graduate college right and there's all these tests all these things you got parties to go to you got to study you got adversity before you get to your end goal here right because college is never just smooth sailing doesn't matter what you're doing in college right so that's what I think of when it comes to completing your goals here. I, this could be a college situation. I feel like this is also one of those things where like there's people involved and they're trying to mess with your inner voice because you remember you always have that inner voice in you, Leo, to um, guide you correctly. But adversity will, may, will maybe either, adversity can play on your insecurities make you feel like you don't know as much when you really do a lot of the answers are within you a lot of the answers to life you can't get out of a, a book or a YouTube channel a lot of it is just sitting down and trusting your inner voice you know isolating yourself from adversity and not thinking about it seeing it as nothing but challenges I accept that challenges are the best way to learn they're just challenges they're not they can't take you down. Someone can't take you down, Leo. That's for Leo. Okay. Yeah, surrender. I release my need to control. So it's right underneath trust. Envy here. Yeah, okay. So because you're this way, people sort of want what you have. Or it's not really that they want that. They just don't want you to have it. They don't want you to have it. It's not that they want you to want what you have. They don't want you to have it because they can't get it themselves. Something like that. I can release my need to control. Someone is trying to control the situation here. Maybe trying to control um, the way you see something or the way that you look at something here. I grabbed the wrong cards. I want these cards. Okay. So let's clarify these. Why is gratitude here for Leo? Why is gratitude here for Leo? All right, so we have isolation. Isolate. Remember when I said isolating yourself is what's going to give you that inner voice? Yeah, dissipating. you got to sit down and think for a minute. But I'm also getting that someone that you left, someone that you went into hermit mode with, Leo, if this is resonating for you, I feel like you are... Um, you're starting to be at peace with the brighter side of life when you're alone right now. I don't know why I'm getting this. Leo wants to be alone right now. Clarify trust for Leo. Or your person wants to be alone or your person feels alone. Destiny. Trust that you're on the right path when you're doing this. Here, despondent. Someone does not want you to do this. Someone just simply doesn't want you to love yourself. That's what I'm getting. I don't know why it's like maybe they like your energy and they, they're very codependent on your energy and they have been for a very long time clarify adversity for Leo okay soulmate someone's maybe trying to get in the way of someone's soulmate here miracle I feel like someone is like um yeah, someone is like in the way of someone's soulmate. Like I, I feel like 
people getting away okay getting in the way I feel like someone's soulmate is someone's destiny I did not mean for this to you know my love readings are intended to be about romantic but you know love can you can have love for family members and friends and things of that such too but this is romantic this has to be or this has to be some sort of if this is work this is someone trying to get your boss not to promote you or give you a position or something like that something that's that's in your soul contract, I'm hearing soul contract, someone is trying to get in the way of it, of your destiny. And spirit is saying, the divine is saying you have to um, isolate yourself from these people. And I feel like that's what you're doing and you are surrendering, you know, everything. It's making you peaceful here. And um, I feel like someone feels you pulling your energy from them. Clarify surrender for Leo. Okay, discovery and vanity. Wow. Renewal. So I feel like um, whoever isolates themselves, they finally realize, hey, this vain attitude doesn't work. I have to make a, a, a judgment call within myself to realize that this isn't working. You know what I mean? The vanity isn't working. Whoever is van vain, they're realizing it's not working. They're realizing this. They're going to some sort of self-discovery here. And they're also trying to open up their heart chakra. That's also what I'm hearing. Have more feelings for once. Could be you or them. Or just someone around you guys. Alright, so let's see. Let's get into it with tarot. What do we have for Leo on the 12th of February? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What's going on with Leo? Alright, so we have the Sun card. That's your energy. The Ace of Pentacles. The Devil. I felt it. We have the King of Wands. The Seven of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. Someone is trying to get you to work with them, cooperate with them, Leo. They're like really um, sexually passionate towards you. We have the King of Cups here. That's also representing that they have feelings for you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So someone is taking action towards something. Someone is very codependent. I'm seeing someone has to sneak away from this codependent person so that they can actually cooperate with someone, but the codependent person wants to cooperate with them. That's what I'm getting. Codependent means that they're not independent, right? They always need a, a, a an energy to play with. They always need someone's skin to jump in. They always need a, um, a team partner, right? They always need someone. Or they just like someone's energy. Someone's angry and they see someone moving away. All right. Let's clarify. Why is the sun card here for Leo? Sun card for Leo, please, right now. Okay. So we have the six of wands here and the nine of swords. Someone is either getting a lot of attention, a victory, and success. And um, moving on to happier times. We have the lovers here at the bottom. So I feel like someone is stressed out about that. Someone is stressed out because they know where someone is going. I feel like someone is coming towards you, Leo. And this person can sense it. Or you're moving away from somebody and going on to better things and your person can sense it. So however that resonates. Could be both going on. Because I just read these cards like two different ways, three different ways. Clarify Ace of Pentacles, please, for Leo. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, too, I'm seeing. We have the Ace of Swords. Clarity, truth, a new idea. Okay. We have the Ten of Swords. I feel like someone is uh, ending something for sure. It's like they've gotten into some sort of clarity about what they need to end. Mmm... They got to speak a truth, too. I feel like in order to come towards you, Leo, they have to tell the truth. 
They have to communicate. Clarify the devil, please, for Leo. The world card. Could be dealing with uh, another Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, or Taurus here. We have the Queen of Wands in the reverse here. So I feel like someone is someone who's very like insecure, jealous. Um, someone may be ending that relationship here, closing out a cycle, learning from it, wrapping it up. They're also wrapping up some sort of addiction here too. It's like someone is like fed up with something. I'm getting. Someone is over something. Like they're just over it, and that's what's making this person have anxiety. Someone is wrapping up some sort of toxic cycle. Clarify the King of Wands for Leo. King of Wands for Leo. All right, so we have the Eight of Pentacles. It wanted to come in the reverse, though. I feel like someone is not putting in any uh, effort into something. They're putting effort into something else. I feel like someone notices that someone wants to put effort into something else. We have the Seven of Swords here, so it's like... Seven of Swords could be sabotage. Could someone be trying to sabotage a Three of Pentacles here? Or someone has to sneak away from a Three of Pentacles? Or sneak away to a Three of Pentacles? There's, there's something sneaky about this with the Three of Pentacles here. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Leo. Seven of Swords for Leo. Sabotaging some sort of... All right. Two of Wands. And the Sun card here at the bottom. It's in reverse. Okay, so maybe someone you're at a distance from wants to sneak away towards you, Leo. Let me clarify that again. Why is the Two of Wands here with the Seven of Swords? Alright, Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so someone wants to sneak away to invest. Four of Swords in reverse. Someone's really restless about it. Like, they really want to come in. And invest with someone here. Clarify the Three of Pentacles, please, for Leo. Okay, Eight of Cups. Walking away from things that no longer serve them. I feel like this person is going to be walking away from these people. I feel like someone tried to steal something here. Okay, we have the Chariot. Yeah, but someone's moving forward. Someone tried to steal something with that Seven of Swords there, and it, like, made them realize that they didn't want it. They came with some sort of clarity, like, okay, this is toxic. I don't want this anymore. Tell me more about the Eight of Cups for Leo. Okay, yeah, the Tower. Some sort of shocking realization, some sort of surprise. Page of Pentacles in reverse. You may not see someone coming here. Okay, yeah. So I feel like something happened here, Leo, where it was just like they had to walk away from it. I see Scorpio. I see Leo. I'm seeing a lot of fixed energy. Someone is like making, someone is having some sort of clarity now about a situation. I feel like when um, you walked away from them, Leo, or you said something, you gave them some sort of clarity that you didn't want them and then they were shocked. I also feel like someone is walking away from someone to avoid a tower moment too. The three of pentacles here. If someone walked away from you, Leo, um, they walked into some sort of meditate and contemplate. They walked into some sort of um, teamwork situation that was more codependent than teamwork. All right, what else for Leo? What else for Leo? Okay, adjustments are required. I feel like someone has to make some sort of move before they can actually walk away from this sort of thing first. What else for Leo? Someone has to approach you a certain, a better way too is what I'm hearing. Okay, so it's time to release negativity, yeah. It's time to let go of things here. Let me get one more. Let go of these codependent people. It's for Leo. Okay. Uh, the energy is gaining momentum when it to come out, but it didn't come out all the way. 
All right, so we have be bold and make the first move. So I feel like if someone is waiting, someone is not waiting anymore, nothing will come of the situation. Someone knows better. Someone knows that nothing is going to um, come of whatever they're in. They just know it's just toxic and they got to get out of it regardless of how, um, you know, I feel like this person can be sort of enticing. That's what draws them uh, to this person maybe. Whoever the codependent energy is, they're probably very enticing. But this person knows that they have to end something. Okay? And they know they have to work on something. They have to do something worth working on. Alright, Leo. I hope that resonated for you guys. If it did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks. Namaste. Bye.